Illustrative of this long twinning heritage and reflective of those official and civic leaders whose personal efforts have, been, have singularly been impactful in promoting peace and prosperity in order to advance our common humanity, it is our pleasure to honor this awardee in his personal capacity for a lifetime of civic and public service as an educator, as a civic and community activist, as the leader of the, the fin Fingal, Fingal Party, the longest serving member of the Dáil, and for the past five years, Taoiseach of the Irish Republic. And in recognition of his strong promotion of community ties between Ireland and the United States throughout his 45 year public service career. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the dais the 2016 Spirit of Ireland recipient, the Honorable Enda Kenny. And I, in presenting the award, That means thank you for our American friends, Lord Mayor of Dublin, Lord Mayor of Belfast, Liverpool, Guadalajara, San Jose, American Ambassador, Chairman and Chief Executives of many of the Municipal Authorities of Ireland, all very welcome here to City Hall in Dublin. And what is a surprise for me to be honoured and privileged indeed to receive a Spirit of Ireland Award uh, from San Jose. My grateful thanks and appreciation. Um, as you know, there are discussions going on at the moment about attempting to put a government together. Always difficult, particularly difficult when it's like a, a Rubik cube that changes every 20 minutes. <laughs> but indeed in America, I know you're having your own um, <laughs> issues as well. <laughs> Uh, so good luck with that. <laughs> All I can say to you here is that uh, I haven't arrived in a, in a cloud of white smoke, though the ingredients are always there for white smoke. But when you deal with people and human nature and issues that are serious, obviously these things take some time. Um, obviously the, uh, the next government is going to have to operate in a very different kind of climate in this country, giving the decision of the people and the way they gave that decision and the response that is required from politics of government, politics of opposition and indeed the uh, provision of service by the public service. Attitudes, culture, mentality, approach, openness, transparency, accountability all have to change in stature and dimension in terms of giving the people the answer politically to the decision that they gave in their, uh, in their, in their votes. I believe that the, uh, the best way to tackle the many issues that impact on our country, be they in housing or in health or in issues about employment, um, in how we imagine ourselves and how we feel about ourselves and our place in the world, is that kind of nature. And that's a challenge for politics in this country, which was always in a different space, but now has to move to a different dimension. And I hope to have the opportunity and the privilege indeed of, um, of leading that. I'd like to welcome you all here from across the sea, from Belfast, from Liverpool, from Britain, from America, and from other locations, Guadalajara included. Today, down in the um, Banner Strand in County Kerry, huge strand facing the Atlantic Ocean, there was another commemoration ceremony as part of the many centenary commemorative events that we have in this year of 2016, which commemorates the, the events that took place in this city in 1916, which began the, the first fledgling steps of this country and its people on its march towards political and economic independence which came at a price um, and difficulties for those 
who gave of their lives and of their time and of their careers to build the country that we now have. And in Roger Caselet, who came ashore in County Kerry uh, in his attempts to work in that sphere, to look at the, the qualities and the, the issues that define us and indeed inspire us uh, as a nation. And what is it that we see when we look at those characteristics of those people, of those men, and in a newfound way, those many women who gave off their interest and their best, and in some cases their lives? What was it that made the difference? It was the creativity, generosity, our compassion, our music, our literature, our imagination, our memory, our belonging, our hopes, our joys, our dignity, our elegance, indeed our very soul. And Tom mentioned about James Joyce. It was he who said of the Irish that they lived and loved and laughed and left and the world was never the same again. Still the same way, by the way. Um, it was that sense of ourselves and of others as links to the human chain of Irish men and Irish women, past, present and future. And it's that, for me, that constitutes what the spirit of Ireland is about. There is a phrase in the Irish language called fitia futia. It means completely enmeshed and intertwined. All these, all these characteristics are part of who we are. And whenever I come to this wonderful building here, I'm always reminded that it was built as the Royal Exchange. And we should consider what we do exchange now between the sister cities of all the cities, but particularly between Dublin and San Jose. Certainly, expertise, innovation, investment, opportunity in business and opportunity in technology. But as sisters will know, whatever about brothers, it is the invisible, unspoken things that they exchange that are unquantifiable and invaluable. Sisters, as they say, have each other's backs. They share everything. They give advice, they give support, they might argue with each other. They stick by each other, they depend on each other, they trust each other. And that is the essence of the relationship between Dublin and San Jose. Sisters through and through. You see, our two cities' coordinates are not just about longitude and latitude. They are also very much the human coordinates of shared dignity, of decency, of kindness, of hard work and imagination. These are the qualities that exemplify, for me, what the spirit of Ireland is all about. I hope you enjoy your stay here in Dublin. Thank you very much for this award. I appreciate it, I treasure it, and I take it in this year of 2016 in respect of all of those who went before us, who fostered what the spirit of Ireland is about and how we should present that, both for this generation and as a model for the generations to follow. Thank you very much indeed.